I think I'm going to keep the videos a little bit short today and get this thing hustled down to the uh, balancer. Hopefully we'll get that back in a couple days. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things I can still do on the on the engine. Uh, before I take this to the balancer, I'm going to take that steel straight cut cam gear and I'm going to take the cam gear that was originally in this engine, the aluminum helical stock cam gear, and I'm going to put the steel stock helical gear on the crankshaft and I'm going to see what the clearance feels like. I've always had a problem with that, but since they were in this engine, I don't know if the line bore may have altered that setup, but it worked before, so maybe that uh, another option to look at. So you never know. Tons of fun, isn't it? And the flywheel is looking great. I know this is hard to believe, guys, but this is uh, timing gear. I'm warming it up on the Anyhow. stove. Uh, yeah, sorry you missed that. It wasn't really that dramatic. Just uh, watch your keyway. Make sure the key lines up in there. And now we're going to put it back into the case and uh, try a camshaft gear. See what happens here. Okay, as luck would have it, I tried a brand new gear on the new camshaft, and that sucker would not even rotate. It was it was a bummer, big time. That's a brand new gear on the crankshaft that you see back there. Now this is the gear that was in this engine with that Engel 100 cam. Now it's a used gear, but it's not bad. And this is what we all talk about here, different size cam gears. I don't know if it's going to focus on that. There should be a minus two on that. I tried the old camshaft in there and it worked just fine. So I'm going to take this gear, put it on the new FK7 cam and see. Okay, I torqued the gear with some old bolts. I've got my timing marks right where they need to be. Now I gotta find them on this one. Just a dot. Where'd you go? Dot. There you go. So dark. Get it started between. And roll it down in. I'm gonna line up my timing marks. Just for giggles, I'm turning it this way. That goes in real nice and easy. And it comes out this way, and it's not lifting out of the hole. And where's my marks? I want to just line up the marks for giggles. Okay, make sure they're fine. Okay, now I've got my crankshaft to the back. My gears are lined up pretty good this way. I can... S no, that's a shadow. I thought I was going to say it. It had a little bit of a of a weirdness to it. I'm just going to move you. Hang on. Hang on. Don't let go. Okay. Now, I'm going to push it back and forth. Just... Can you hear that? Just barely. A little bit of play and play in it that way. So, this camshaft gear setup will work. It can work. This gear is new. This is where I always have the problem because they always send you the zero gears. Nobody seems to make the new oddball gears, but since this is a used engine and it, this was running together, it looks like it's going to work this time. We're going to probably go with it because when I took that cast gear off this, I was going to take it off the crankshaft. Nothing to matter with this side, but it got cattywampus. And since that is a cast gear, I thought I'd try this. I had it in the back of my mind to try it anyhow. Now I've got to get that crankshaft out and get it over to the... Uh, these are used cam bearings. I can't thrust that way. is not a problem. The big problem is this. 
Can you hear that? I don't even know if I could measure that, but it's there and it's real and it's good. So, turns out instead of having the noisy straight cut gears on this build, we're probably going to do that. Now I have to take this apart, clean it, use some really good cleaner on those threads, use red Loctite and put it back together that way. I can do that while cut my push rods and uh, do these kinds of things while the other parts are over at the balancers. So that's probably going to be it for today. Uh, I've got all my stuff. When you take it to the balancer you want to make sure that you got your gears and keys and all those sorts of things because you send it to the balancer then you start adding components now it's no longer balanced. So I don't know if that makes sense. Hope it does. All this engine work is driving me nuts. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy Jeezy out.